everybody this is Oksana and today we're gonna wrap a marquee shaped stone and we are going to use just one piece of round wire so if you want to see how I made this little pendant here just keep watching and before we get started I just quickly want to say that if you are not subscribed already if you are subscribed first of all thank you very much um, and if you're not I hope that you will consider subscribing to my YouTube and hitting that notification bell to be notified of new videos which I post every weekend and of course if you enjoy this video it'll be amazing if you could hit that little thumbs up like button down below it really helps my videos get seen so let's go ahead and get started making this pendant so the wire that I'm going to be using is just one piece of wire and this is 18 gauge round dead soft copper wire and I purchased my wire from RioGrande.com and the piece of wire it's pretty long here Oop, wrong end of the measuring tape it is 17 inches and then my stone it's a marquee shaped stone if you're not familiar with that shape it looks like this it's got points on each end and this is really important you can't really do this very well with other stone shapes it needs to have thinner points at both ends so um, another way that this could work is if you have like a diamond shaped stone probably because that'll have the skinny little points on each end it'll just also have wider sides but yeah other stones um, other stone shapes probably not as well so it is just a little over an inch the size is not super important but that's just the size of my particular stone so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our wire we're gonna find roughly the middle of it you want to hold it in the middle and then you're gonna take your stone and you're gonna determine you know which way is up and which way is down and on the bottom of your stone so I'm going to flip it all upside down now because it's kind of easier for me to hold it this way but this will be the bottom of the pendant we're putting the roughly the middle of the wire right on the tip here let me zoom in a little bit just right on the tip of the stone and I'm pressing it up against the stone the hardest thing about making this pendant is all like the holding and moving with your hands and I'll kind of show you some tips but that's kind of the hardest part so this appears to be kind of an easy pendant but if you are a beginner and you never wire wrapped before it can kind of be challenging trying to maneuver and hold everything with your hands so I'm just bending the wires on each side now and they're gonna hit my camera because they're so long but I'm just holding pressing the wire against the stone bending them so each of them is gonna go around the front and to the back you want to just press it down nicely you don't want there to be a big gap now this is gonna want to slide up and off the stone don't let it do that keep it pushed down this is the part where it gets tricky because everything wants to slip out and I'm trying to hold it and I'm trying to push the wire down as well so it doesn't slip off of the stone like this so I'm pressing it down I'll show you the back at this point here's the back the wires have been bent to the back so you want to push this down but simultaneously press down on these wires so pushing it down and then you just need a free finger to press down on the wires like this all right so this is what we've done we've made this kind of thing that goes around the tip of my stone now this part I find harder maybe you can find an easier way to do this but this is what I do I take my middle finger here 
on the tip and then I have my thumb and my index finger here holding the wire up here so this is how I'm holding the stone and the wire to keep it from slipping up kind of stabbing me though so <laughs> that's why this is difficult so what I want to do now is I want these wires to kind of turn a little bit they're gonna grab onto each other so I'm turning the first wire down I'm turning the next wire up and then this is starting to slip I just have to adjust my grip maybe I'll do this maybe if I hold it kind of between two fingers that'll be a little bit easier all right so I'm just turning them and eventually so the first so this wire is turned just once and then this other wire kind of had to go up and around to get this turn hold on I'll just press this down and I'll show you real quick what happened here so see this little twist that resulted so the reason we did that is because I'm just trying to get the wires to stay together alright so now if we look at the front still have this little base that the bottom of our stone is sitting in and we have these wires coming out the side so what I'm gonna do is again you just have to keep pushing the stone back into it because it just wants to slip out okay so I'm pushing it into it and I'm just squeezing it here now we're gonna take this wire that is the closest to the edge here on this side. If your little swoop ended up swooping in the other direction and then you would have a wire here on the other side. It doesn't matter, just whatever wire is kind of the the lower one of the two wires. See this one is kind of closer to going straight up and this one is the lowest wire. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna bend it onto the front. Here I'm just pushing it all the way around and then all the way around here on the back and then just to match the bottom you could stop here but I wanted to have two wires so it matches the bottom so I'm doing it one more time so I'm just pushing it across the front and then here it is and I'm pushing it to the back again so by doing this um, I've done two wires, so it's two wires in the bottom, two on the top, just so it matches. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to finish off this wire by wrapping it around this other wire, which I kind of had straightened a little bit, so it's going straight up. So I'm taking this wire, and I am just kind of pushing down on it, creating a little wrap like this. And now I'm going to trim. So let me get a little bit closer here. So I'm just going to trim that off like that. And now that's formed like a little loop. And I just want to close up that loop, but also be careful that this little end, when you close the loop, isn't sticking out. You want it actually pointing kind of down so that it gets hidden away and you don't have like a loose little wire end all right so I've closed that up and now our stone is actually staying put and I think it looks kind of interesting from the back as well so our stone is staying put because it is that marquee shape and we've trapped the bottom and the top and because those are small um, thinner compared to this thicker part it can't slide up or down through those little wraps that we've made now if you want the wires to be kind of closer together and not have a gap you can adjust that or maybe you like that it has a gap it is totally up to you but what I'm gonna do now is make a bale with this top portion so I am just putting a curve into it with my fingers like this and I'm pushing that down onto the front 
and I'm just kind of pinching it a little bit so there isn't like a huge gap there. So this is going to be our bale. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bend it just a little bit to the side like that. This is just kind of decorative for looks and then I'm going to bend it back this way so I want it to just kind of swoop here across the side. There's different things you can do with it. You can make like a swirl with it or something. You can maybe add some little beads, but this is just going to be a simple little swoop for the purposes of this. And then I'm just bending it around this little edge to the back. And then here on the back, once you get here, you just have to finish off this wire. Um, there's different ways that you can finish it off, but the easiest is just to wrap it around another wire and a lot of these little wires on the back here are kind of raised so it's easy to tuck it away. So I'm just taking it, tucking it through here. There's just a natural gap that was formed here. But if, if you don't have a gap here, maybe you have one, you know, somewhere else, just find the easiest place to kind of tuck your little wire away into. And then once you've done that, just try to like close up that little loop and that will make it so that it stays put. So I can see, see the little end of my wire right there. So I'm just closing up that loop. And the little end is now here and it's kind of tucked away. You can't feel the wire end. It is connected here to the back. So this is the back. This is the front. You can adjust your little bail if it got moved too much to the side or anything. But that is it. That is just a simple, quick way to trap in a marquee shaped stone. Now we are using just one piece of wire and because of that, the bale is just one thin piece of wire. So um, I wouldn't say this is like a super fragile pendant, but obviously if you push really hard and try to bend this bale, you will be able to do so. But that is it. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.